Welcome to Los Angeles, California. Welcome to the Late Late Show. I'm your host, TV's Craig Ferguson. Please sit down, relax. Stop barking. Don't bark. Don't woo. Don't you woo me. If you want to woo me, send me flowers and chocolates. That's how you woo me. Tell me I look pretty. Just listen to me. I don't want much. It's a great day for America, everybody. Especially if you're the guy that won a million bucks on Survivor last night. Oh, my Lord, a million dollars. How about that? Well, it's not much, is it? <laughs> not very enthusiastic crowd, I noticed. <laughs> I say, you say a million dollars to most Americans, they go, woo, here. <laughs> What the hell is that? I don't know what's going on. It's just you and me tonight. I don't know what's going on with that. <laughs> we'll be fine. A million dollars! Yeah, the guy on uh, the guy on Survivor won a million dollars last night. I wonder if he'll keep his day job as a uh, yoga instructor. <laughs> <laughs> He is, yeah, the guy we won, I can't remember his name, but he, uh, he's a yoga instructor. And uh, listen to this, maybe a shock, I hope you're sitting down. Um, he's from Los Angeles. <laughs> I didn't know we had yoga instructors in Los Angeles. <laughs> you can't move for that. There's more yoga instructors than Starbucks in Los Angeles. <laughs> They're everywhere. <laughs> I've done the yoga, I've had a go at it, I like it, I'm very flexible. <laughs> To the point of being bendy, actually, on occasion. Uh, doing yoga, though, it makes me a little uncomfortable. Which I think is the point of yoga, actually, to make you a little uncomfortable, but it's, it's embarrassing and farty. <laughs> it is, it is. It's embarrassing and farty. And then there's the other people. Uh, they can be embarrassing and farty, too. I'm always embarrassed when I go to the yoga because people are more limber than I am. I, and I always feel that they're staring at my yellow speedos. Like, <laughs> what am I meant to wear? <laughs> they they, they kind of ride up my crack, i got to be honest. <laughs> it's, one, it's just it's the positions you get, you go do the whoop, they go. <laughs> I am... I've lost about five pairs up there, actually. Right? Uh, <laughs> cost me a fortune. I, uh, I do, I go to the yoga. I have my own yoga mat as well. I like, I like to have my, I don't like using the yoga mat in the studio. The yoga studio, that's what they call them. Um, I don't like using their mats because they're a bit funky. I mean, people, you know, bend, they sweat on them, you know. <laughs> Farty and sweaty, you know. <laughs> It's not something you can share, not like a jock strap or something. It's just something you. <laughs> you know, in LA, they don't just have yoga here in LA, they've got power yoga. In LA, that's what they call it power yoga. <laughs> Only in LA would they take a non competitive, lovely thing like yoga and turn it into an extreme sport. Boom, <laughs> power yoga. You'd be on your cell phone, Shabasana. <laughs> It's supposed to be a re relaxation and breathing. But it's now it's all people on cell phones all, all, cell phones all sweating. Cell phones as well, oh, some of them are on cell phones. <laughs> that is why I have stopped going to the yoga and I started going to Lamaze classes. <laughs> it's all about the breathing. <laughs> Mr. Ferguson, you've been coming here for 16 months. You're not even pregnant, please. <laughs> You're creeping out the other ladies. <gasps> I do. <laughs> I, I do like the yoga. I do, but I, I have to be honest. I think there's too many hippies involved. Every time hippies latch onto something, they turn it to crap. They turn it down. They turn it to yoga, not showering, living in your van, world peace, world peace. It's all everything's turned to crap. Peace was a great idea until hippies ruined it. That's all I'm saying. I, and look what's happened to marijuana. No one smokes it anymore.
What is it about the uh, why is it about the hippies? I can't stand them. I'm sorry. I, I, I'm not do, I can't do it with the hippies. You know, the, we're totally non-judgmental, man. But but you should need me to drive a car. They always tell you too much. That's what I think about hippies. They always tell, give you too much information. When you say, for example, um, did you watch Survivor last night? They say, no, man, I don't own a TV. So I didn't ask you if you owned a TV, Moonbeam. I asked you if you watched Survivor. That's right, they're called Moonbeam. A million dollars. You know what, 